All right, gonna do a video on Elden Ring model boarding for armor and such things. Um, to try and keep it short, I'm going to, or shorter, I'm gonna do only a um, body armor piece um, from Dark Souls 3 to Elden Ring um, and kind of just show that process, which is applicable to just about anything. Um, there are quite a few tools and things that you will need to use. So to save myself time, I'm going to put all of that in the description of all the tools necessary um, for doing so. So consider pausing right here and going and looking through the description and making sure that you have all of the requisites to even do this um, set up and then pause so i'll let you do that real quick and there you go assuming you did that or already have things set up here here we are um so what we will do now assuming you've already looked and gotten all the other things um is i'll talk about my workflow really quick i've just got my parts file for elden ring right here and then i've got parts file for dark souls 3 because that's where i'm getting my models from anywhere you want to get your models from is fine um but I'm going to use Dark Souls 3 models because I like porting them. And that's how I learned how to do this. So um, the first thing I actually did is I got the models for the set that I want to port. So I want to do the Black Knight set from Dark Souls 3. So I have the Dark Souls 3 set right here. All of it unpacked and still packed just so I have backups if I mess up something. And then the Elden Ring set that I'm replacing with the Elden Ring template uh, fiber in there as well, because we'll be using it. So I'm using the Land of Reeds set, which is just the samurai starting armor. And then my V1 here is for completed stuff that's done. I'll, I'll move into there later. So to get started here, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna open up the DS3 set here and we're doing body. So I'm gonna open up body, go all the way in. This is all unpacked, by the way, with Yabber. So I'm gonna grab the TPF and have that unpacked. So what you would do is you'd grab this, drop it on Yabber, it'll unpack it. It'll look like that. It's already done, so I'm not gonna do it again, but that's how you do it. I'm gonna grab the fiber here, and I'm actually gonna go to Fiber Tools, which is where my Bloodborne tools are. I'm gonna drag that onto Model V3. It's gonna spit some stuff out for us. Don't need this one, so I'm just gonna delete it. What we want is the source material here. So I'm actually just gonna grab that. I'm gonna put it on desktop just for my memory. When I open Blender, I can just search desktop, grab the SMD file. Um, so I'm gonna back this up real quick just so it's kind of back where the other sets are and I don't have to do it later. Um, next, what we're gonna do is we will open up our ER base blend model. And then we're going to go to File, Import, and then Source, Desktop. And then here's the source one I just did. It's going to give us an error here, uh, just so you know. So don't let that don't let that bother you. This is just lame, but I'll show you how to fix that really quick. So that's going to happen. You can click off of it. Uh, what that means basically is that it had issues with materials. Um, so like for assigning textures, it like duplicated stuff. So like right here, you can see um, this is that weird upper skirt. And then that's also the weird upper skirt. They're almost exactly the same things. Um, and so it yeah, will have like bit up gibberish for the textures. So the first thing I always do when I import the model in here is actually start from the top here and I rename the um, materials so these are like the upper arms so i'm just going to click here and just do upper well, i could spell upper arms and then this one is low skirt and then this one is spikes this one is body this one is sides this one is upper skirt. 
This one is low skirt two. Because we already did one of those, but it's slightly different, I guess, so we'll just go with it. This is body two, just because it's body and we already have another body. This really doesn't matter what you name them, honestly. It's just that they each get their own name, so that way when you export it, it doesn't freak out and lose them. Um, I just name it what I see, so you can do whatever you want, though. And then these are going to be flappies, or we'll do side flap, so it's different than the one that's just sides. And then this one is upper skirt again. So then I'm going to click on this, and I'm just going to highlight all of them actually, go to object, and then I'm going to join them all together so they become one piece here. Uh, from here, I'm just going to, since we have it highlighted, I'm actually going to go to UV, highlight all of that, and I'm going to mirror it, because the Bloodborne tool, for some reason, uh, flips those UVs when you turn it into a source material, so if you don't flip it, uh, and then you try to apply textures to it, once it's in-game and exported from here it does not look right so make sure you do that that is important um, and then while we still have this selected we'll control click on body put an object again link and transfer data transfer mesh data vertex groups their source layers all layers and just click off and then we will delete the body. Um, one thing to note really quick is your model might come in as a T-pose or too big. Um, that unfortunately is just an annoyance. There's not like an easy way to just snap it to the right size, I don't think, but I'm not a model expert. So you will have to take your model, um, maybe apply an armature modifier to it so that way you can uh, pose it to line it up a little bit better with the arms get it in the a pose and that kind of stuff but this is just going to be assuming that you've uh, gotten it to an a pose because i don't know super well how to get things to an a pose <laughs> other than <laughs> apply an armature and bring those arms down so we'll go back over here and we're actually just going to delete the body now because the weight uh, data has been transferred over to it um, and what I always do at this point is I actually leave this open um, after I export it as an FBX here. I'm going to just do Black Knight Armor uh, E for Tutorial. And I'm going to put it in the Armor Projects and ignore these because those are me testing it earlier to make sure it even works. So Export. So after it's exported, I actually like to leave this open in case there's a weight issue in game or anything like that. So I can come in, check it, fix it, re-export it and not redo everything I just did. So we'll just minimize that for now. We will minimize that one. And a lot of our work is gonna take place over here now. So now we're gonna go into our ER set that we are replacing. I'm gonna copy the ER template real quick before we go into the body, which is what we're replacing. And this is the Elden Ring part 1360. Uh, we're replacing it. So we're going to just delete the fiber from in here. And then paste the template. Rename it to match the so BDM 1360. Save that. And then we're going to drag that over to the editor. And then we will go down to import model model stuff we'll just work our way project armor and then test one here so it's going to pop in here I apologize if you can hear voices outside of mine i actually moved recently so i have roommates now so here is this model the first thing we can do while we're uh, in here is just actually save it and then close it and then back up. We will delete the packed one, and then we will repack this one really quickly. Before assigning textures and doing all of that stuff, I do this so that way we can make sure that the um, weights and all of that stuff are correct and tracking. So I actually just copy that and paste it into the parts file on my mod folder in Mod Engine. 
So that way the game will see it uh, without actually, you know, overriding the game directory. I'm going to launch the game real quick. And I should already have the samurai armor on, so if it swapped, it should be immediate. Yep. So here we are. That. We'll just get rid of a few things here. Make sure it kind of looks a okay. So what I'm seeing there is on the arms. Uh, it doesn't go super low. So. Uh, that's not a big deal, honestly. That is something that you'll probably encounter with many things that you port, um, because it goes down to meet the gauntlets for the set. So if you have the Black Knight arms on, then that should look fine. Um, but the biggest thing is just making sure that it tracks correctly, and it uh, looks like it does. Nothing's clipping through the world or flying off into space. So we will go ahead and say that that is good. And now we will work on applying textures to it. And while the game has an aneurysm um, getting force closed, I just will mention that this has taken a lot of energy and time for me to figure out because I do not come from any background of modeling or actually modding. So if this has been helpful, like a sub, comment, anything of that nature, it would be deeply appreciated but your viewership is enough as it is if that's all you want to do so with that being said we will go ahead and jump back in here um we're actually gonna go ahead and go into the black knight dark souls 3 set here for the body we're gonna go all the way in until we get to the tpf we're gonna do the same thing here we grab the tpf unpack it get inside I'm going to copy these from the Dark Souls 3 set. Then we're going to move back up here to the Elden Ring set that we're replacing. Click all the way in. I'm going to delete the old TPF after every packet. It was almost a bit premature there. Delete that. Open this up. We'll delete the textures from the Land of Reeds set. And paste the ones from the Black Knight set. Then I'm going to rename them to match what we have got here. So it's just going to be 1360. 1360. And 1360. And then we're actually going to replace that little R there with an M because the R textures from Dark Souls 3 are the metallic in Elden Ring. So save ourselves some trouble there. I'm going to open up the little Yabber XML here because it shows that we have five textures when we have three, so it will not repack correctly. So to fix that, I'm going to get rid of the two that we are not using, which are the chain ones. Just get rid of those. And then we can just double check. EDM, A, M, N, A, M, N. Great. Save that. Oops. We want the X, not the not the big ones. And then we will go ahead and repack that now. And then we will reopen the Fiverr for the replaced model here. So pretty, so cool. What we're gonna do actually is we're gonna go into mesh. Pull that over. I'll go back facing for all. And then just so you can see that didn't actually do anything, but now if we click I'll go back face for the dummy one here it will actually populate that so don't know why it works that way but it does so just kind of a heads up for that uh, then we'll click modify to save that exit that out and then we're going to go into materials here and we're going to assign textures this one's really easy because it only has the one set of textures so it's going to be the same across all of these so what i do is just go ahead and click edit browse I'm going to go into the Black Knight set here, and then we are at the ER set now. Just a reminder in the body. 
all the way in to TPF, and then you can click on one, and then what I like to do is just click it and then press enter. Enter. Click, enter. Click, enter. And then repeat the process here. So I'm gonna do that and sit here silently and awkwardly potentially. As you can see, it's quite thrilling to do this. But it's actually very easy because of the fact that it's only got one texture set here. So it's smooth sailing. And then the last one here. modify to save it. I don't know if I actually hit it, but I always do after that. And then we'll click modify again here, because it can't be too safe. Mesh. Check. And it looks like it's populated textures now, because I repacked that other TPF already. Great. So we'll go ahead and close it now. Close it now. Close it now. And then we will back it up, Terry. We'll get rid of this one, because that was our test one for seeing if it tracked. And then we will repack this one. Then copy this one. Paste this one and replace the old one. And then we will launch Elden Ring again. And then while it's loading, I'll do another little mention uh, a lot of learning this actually has come from server name discord and the small discord that i have made for my subs and other small modders um, it's pretty tight knit a lot of help amongst smaller people all trying to figure stuff out together so if that's of interest to join there will be a link in the description as well all right that looks good it's raining so it's a little bit wet and glossy looking but that ain't ain't shabby at all. Um, so if uh, you end up doing a model and you come in and the textures just don't quite look the way that you may have wanted or it, they're maybe too dark because textures from Dark Souls 3 into Elden Ring tend to be a little bit darker than they are inside of um, Dark Souls 3, you can always open up those textures um, with something like Paint.net or Photoshop and um, edit them and then put them back in, uh, repack it all. So um, I will probably do a guide on textures and that kind of stuff at some point here, but for now this is just how models work. Um, so yeah, with that all being said, that I think should wrap it up. Um, you would just want to re that process with all of the different body parts if you're porting from um, a different Souls game or something of that nature. If you're doing one singular model that covers the entire character, then uh, you wouldn't really have to. And there's always um, Sky Moon's video and guide on doing that kind of thing. So um, just adding to the pool of resources. So uh, yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Um, video on doing weapon model ports should come next so thanks for hanging out 